All right, guys, today we're going to do a quick little project. Well, it was supposed to be quick, but uh, as you can see down here, got quite a bit of rain <laughs> recently, the last several days. So that kind of put a damper on outdoor projects for now as I worked to, uh, you know, this, this homestead is going to kind of give me a master class in uh, water management, dr runoff management, whatever you want to call it, uh, <clears throat> drainage. So I've been doing stuff, just kind of quick, easy emergency stuff to, uh, to help with that. As you can see there, just a quick little way for some of the water to escape. I'm not super worried about this part right now anyway, because I'm not using it. It's not connected to the rest of the driveway, but anyway, I didn't want a whole bunch of standing water sitting around gathering mosquitoes and stuff. So hopefully the, uh, the sun will stay out and dry this up. But anyway, the purpose of the uh, video today is we're going to the front of the property where I am going to install a, a camera to watch the, the driveway, the front of the driveway, the entrance. And uh, in the past, you've, if you've followed my channel or been a subscriber for a while, you've seen that I love to do the, uh, you know, the solar powered um, Wi-Fi cameras and just bounce the signal via radio back to the, the house or the, the internet, wherever the internet is installed. In this particular case, as you can see, from here, I'd have to bounce this like five or six times probably to get it back to the, to the house site. You did, there's just no line of sight. And I don't want line of sight, I, I want the trees. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put some Wi-Fi cameras elsewhere on the property, but at the front here, I'm going to put in a, a cellular camera. And in the past, I've stayed away from those because I've heard bad things. And I get a lot of people asking me, well, why don't I just use a cellular camera or, or whatever? It's a lot easier. You don't need that giant solar panel so forth and so on. Well, this is, gives me a good opportunity to compare and contrast that. Um, so I'm, I've got a, a 4G camera that I'm going to be installing from a company called Ziga. Not affiliated with them, not trying to push sales or anything like that, but that's just the one that I, that I have. So I'm going to be comparing that to kind of the normal ubiquity cameras that I've been using in the past. Without further ado, I'm going to set a pole and get started on this project. Okay, so here's our pole. I did check. It's not perfectly level. It's it's within the bubbles, but uh, it's not perfect. But it's good enough. This is going to be moved at some point. That's why I didn't use uh, concrete or anything. Uh, so this is just kind of temporary. But it's definitely down far enough that. Uh, it's not going anywhere. It's not going to get blown over or anything like that. So that's all we need for now. Okay, here's the camera. Uh, you know, this isn't going to be a review video, but I did want to, uh, you know, if anyone wants to copy this setup or whatever, this is, uh, this is the camera. It's the XG07. And it does come with a solar panel, so we're going to be mounting that next. But uh, for now, I'm going to go ahead and install the camera. Now, one thing I do not like at all about this is that it did not come with a pole mount. So I had to rig up this piece of wood. Uh, it cut out holes so that I could put a, a large hose clamp through it. 
and get it to fit around the pole that, that we set in the front of the property. So it does have this little mounting bracket that it comes with, but it's only meant to go on like the side of a building or something like that, which is really stupid in my opinion because, you know, the, the, the main use case for this type of a camera is by definition going to be out somewhere where you don't have Wi-Fi signal. Um, and so that limits you to either installing this on the side of a tree somewhere, which is dumb because the solar panel is probably not going to work under the a tree's canopy, or you've got to set some sort of 4x4 post or something like that, which is just not as good as a metal pole. So anyway, I don't like that feature for another $2 worth of plastic. They could have come up with a, uh, a pole mount which is just inexcusable for, in my opinion, almost every camera I've ever used before, Ubiquiti cameras, all those, they all come with a pole mount option. Again, this isn't a review video, but I just did want to mention that if you do choose to get this specific model, be aware that it does not come with any provision for mounting on a pole. And there's no accessory on their website for to purchase to do so either. All right, that'll do for now. It's not going anywhere. Now let me get the camera put up on there. Okay, there we got the camera. I'm gonna put it at the top um, and the solar panel is gonna go slightly below it. And uh, the solar panel has the same problem. It, it doesn't have a pole mount attachment so I'm gonna have to rig up another little piece of wood to handle that okay so we got this thing finished up it's nothing pretty to look at unfortunately I'll have to figure out some sort of more elegant pole mount solution here but here's what we got that is a very small solar panel probably no bigger than five watts so I have no idea how well that's going to do, but it does have unobstructed southern exposure. So I probably need to make this a little steeper angle for summer. But anyway, we're going to try that out. Uh, it does get a good look at the parcel box for UPS and FedEx and Amazon and all that. So if I get, I don't think I'm going to ever get any porch pirates out here, but... In case I do, I can know what's going on. But more importantly, it gets a view of the front driveway here. So anytime, if anybody comes in, I can see it. Not that I anticipate that, but just in case if anybody came in or if I wanted to give somebody access to the property remotely, I can see if they come in or not. It's just good to have eyeballs on your property when you're not there half of the week and stuff like that. Thanks for watching guys, we'll catch you next time.